uh, we have covered a lot of ground in matters agriculture, in matters hospitals, in matters uh, infrastructure. You can see our urban uh, infrastructure program that has given uh, and changed the shape of Mutuapa. It has changed the face of Kilifi Town. It has changed the face of uh, Watamu. It has changed the face of um, uh, Malindi. It has changed the face of Mariakani. It has changed the face of uh, Gongoni. So a lot has been done. If you look, for example, the health sector. When it came in, there was a lot of congestion with the big three hospitals. That is Mariakani, Kilifi, and Malindi. And my first time, I mainly concentrated on having as many dispensaries as possible so that we can hold the people right where they are. Uh, it was painful to see mothers walking uh, for hours to access health sector. So in my first time, I actually dedicated a lot of resources in putting up dispensaries. And we have put a lot of dispensaries uh, in almost every ward. Uh, we have had an average of three new dispensaries. Now that has enabled us to ease the pressure on the big three hospitals in Kilefi County. In my second term then I decided to uh, put a lot of emphasis on providing services that were never available since independence in Kilefi County. That is the critical services. Uh, things like ICU, HDU, um, you know, uh, state-of-the-art theatres, uh, dialysis, uh, those are the critical services that are missing. But today, as I exit uh, Kilifi County, as, as, as my days, as my, my dream, and because of them, we've managed to take Kilifi where it is today. My message to the people of Kilifi is the very same support that they've given me for the 10 years. Uh, they should give the same support to the team that is coming in. Nobody is perfect. But I believe with teamwork and holding hands, they should be able to take Kilifi to another level. For the incoming team that is going to take over, um, there's so much expectations from uh, Kilifi uh, people, and uh, there'll be no time to slumber. They're lucky that they're founding a foundation. You know, They're coming in already finding a working structure. So there'll be absolutely no excuses for them uh, to lag behind in terms of development. I think we have put uh, a proper foundation for them. There are ongoing projects that uh, I believe they should be able to complete before uh, they craft new ones because again all these projects are not for Governor King and his team. These are projects that are proposed uh, by the people of Kilifi. So the project that belong to the people of Kilifi and I believe the incoming team, the first thing they need to do is let's finish up these projects before we embark on a different set of projects. But I wish, I wish, I wish that team uh, well. And um, I am not uh, uh, leaving Kilifi. Uh, I'm, I'm a Kilifian, very proud Kilifian. I'm very much available within uh, Kilifi jurisdiction. Whenever I'm called upon as a citizen uh, and as a Kilifian, I'll always be able to uh, give a helping hand as and when, because Kilifi belongs to us. I think devolution is a game changer. Uh, Kilifi County, as, as, as my days, as my, my day gets to the sunset uh, hours, I can proudly, uh, proudly say that nobody can leave this county to go seek for these critical services. I'm leaving a county that can be able to take care of itself when it comes to health matters. We have one of the best hospitals in this region, if not in the country, uh, the one that we built in Kilifi, dubbed uh, Kilifi Medical Complex. It is a state-of-the-art. The equipment that is there is state-of-the-art equipment with four state-of-the-art theatres. We have put a proper farm, uh, farm foundation in all matters, and I believe uh, the team that is going to take over uh, will get it easy. Remember when we came in, there was absolutely nothing. We had to find our direction. Uh, we had to put in structures. We had to, you know, uh, walk and chew the gum at the same time. You know, because as we are putting up the administrative structure, people are expecting services. So it was extremely um, demanding. But because of the spirit, uh, the team spirit that I had from uh, the team that I had, the chief officers, the CECs, 
uh, the water demonstrators, the sub-counter demonstrators, and the entire uh, workforce that I've worked with for these 10 years, I think I've achieved so much, not just because I'm a hard worker, but I have done that through the teamwork, through my workforce. That is um, all those people that uh, were employed to work in Kilifi County. I think they've gone all out uh, to support me, and because of them, we've managed to take Kilifi where it is today. My message to the people of Kilifi is the very same support that they've given me is a game changer uh, in this country. The most engaging political uh, assignment that I'll have after exiting uh, the position of governor of Kilifi is to build the political party called Pamoja African Alliance. I believe it's a party that has a future. It's a party that can be able to uh, speak for and on behalf of this region. It's a party that once we consolidate the region, we want to move now into the wider part of this country. Because ultimately, ultimately, Pamoja African Alliance is going to field a very strong presidential candidate. It may not, it doesn't matter. It could be me, it could be somebody else. It doesn't matter. All we know is Pamoja African Alliance is going to be such a formidable force in the years to come. And that's why I'm going to dedicate a lot of my energies politically to build Pamoja African Alliance.